Today, MPs and members of the British Lords have been uh, in a meeting. We have discussed the problems of Bangladesh and how we can take things forward. I don't know that this is uh, a problem that can be fixed in five minutes. I think we've all got to work really hard together uh, to make sure that proper democracy can be restored in Bangladesh. I'd be absolutely delighted to help in any way that I can. I wish you all well and I thank you all for turning out on a very cold January night to make your feelings known. We do not want to see one party system in Bangladesh. Yes. We would like all the political parties of Bangladesh to participate in the democracy and formation of a government as soon as possible. Well, the reports from Bangladesh that are coming out in UK, I'm very worried about those. I'm concerned as a British parl parliamentarian that the human rights situation in Bangladesh is deteriorating day by day at the hands of their own security forces and the police and the RAB. Um, I, we hear from the Bangladeshis in UK that many Bangladeshi politicians, journalists, human rights workers are being abducted and killed and many of them are subjected to torture. This is unacceptable. We ask the Bangladeshi to do everything to restore the human rights situation in Bangladesh and give the people justice that they need. And those who are responsible for the loss of human rights, they need to be brought to justice. And for the uh, democracy of the country, we would like Bangladesh to become, uh, uh, to, to restore its um, uh, all party parliamentary uh, democracy. And there ought to be elections which all parties should agree including Awami League and, uh, and Bangladesh National Party, they, should, they must work together to form a government which represents the all, all country and not only one party. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Let me start by saying my name is Simon Dantrick. I'm Rochdale's Member of Parliament. And let me also say thank you for turning up today to show how unhappy you are about the situation in Bangladesh. It is important that people like yourselves show support for the greater communities in Bangladesh. The situation cannot continue as it is in that country. We are now 12, over 12 months since the so-called general election took place on the 5th of January in Bangladesh. Yes. That is a day when democracy started to die in yes. Bangladesh. Yes. And what we now need to do, continue doing, is campaigning to get democracy back in that country. Yes. I'm very pleased to hear of the work that you've been doing in the citizen movement, presenting a petition to 10 Downing Street, yes. lobbying MPs throughout Parliament today, making your voice heard so that British parliamentarians and peers know exactly what you think. So I'm pleased to be able to say that I will work with you to help, try and help restore democracy in Bangladesh. I always make it clear I'm not on any political party side, not a Warmi League or Bangladesh National Party. I am on the side of the people of Bangladesh. And I've visited the country on two occasions and I know that it's important for the economy of that country and I know it's important for the 160 million people that live in that country and I know that it's important for social cohesion in that country that we have proper and fair elections possibly in the near future and to be able to achieve that we need a caretaker government yes. so that those elections can be fair and proper but most of all what we need, and this isn't just my word, this is the word of organisations like Amnesty International yeah. or Human Rights Watch, well regarded third sector organisations that say the human rights atrocities that are going on in that country must stop. Yes. Yeah. That has to be our number one priority. Yeah. So I hope to work with you in the weeks and months ahead to try and get a stop 
to those atrocities and to try and help restore democracy. Thank you again for coming and thank you for listening to me. Thank you.